Hey guys, and today I got to do the most exciting task when it comes to going back to school or university, I got to go shopping for supplies. My favourite part for as long as I can remember of going back to school has been going and buying new folders and pens and pencils and sticky shit and just stuff that you don't need but convince yourself that you do in order to get your shit together. University shopping is slightly different though because whilst you can buy all your folders and pretty pens and whatnot, you also have to buy boring stuff like shower gel and persil and toilet roll. Lots and lots of toilet roll. So I thought I'd put together a video of all the more interesting things that I've bought recently to take back with me to university. It's so rainy outside. All the prices of the things that I have purchased I will put in the description box below because I probably will forget to mention all the prices. I'll try and do it as I go along but all the prices will be down there plus where I purchased them from just so you guys can find out for yourself if you're interested in any of the items. There's a lot to go through so I'm just going to get started on the video. I'm going to start with stationery because I find stationery the most exciting part of this whole experience. Um, I firstly went into Wilkinson's. If you don't know what Wilkinson's is, it is an English shop, I think. Um, we have it here in England. It's really cheap. It does like homework. It does basically everything. Yeah, but at a really, really ridiculously cheap price. First few bits I got were some lever arch folders and I got them in this lime green colour and also this blue colour. I thought they looked really nice together. They come in like a matte colour, I just thought they were really basic and simple but I also really like the colour of them. These were a pound and these are just the A4 lever arch file. I will be using these to put basically everything that I need for my modules in those. I also got some more refill pads. These are just the lime papers. These are A4 ruled refill pad with margin. And these were 50p each, I think, so not too bad. I take notes down on these in lectures. They come with 80 sheets of paper in them, so I just got quite a few and that will last me basically the whole year. They're really cheap and the paper quality is actually really nice. So I like these. I got some reusable tack from Wilkinson's. This was 30p, I think, and this is basically like a knockoff blue tack. When you're in university halls or really anywhere where you live when you're when you're a student, you can't use like nails or things like that in the walls. So I tend to turn to blue tack. Blue tack obviously dries out when it gets old, so I thought I'd just get some new ones. And this is white, so that means that I won't have to be going around scraping off all the blue tack marks off the walls because it'd be white and it won't matter as much. So I've got those. I picked up a lot of flashcards. These were a pound just for the white ones. These are ruled. There's a hundred cards in here and these are just perfect for revision. Last year I bought a small pack from the uni store and it was such a rip off. You have no idea. It was like three pound for 50 sheets and that broke my heart. So I just love stocking up on these because it's so helpful, especially all year round. And I know some of my modules next year have got presentations. So these come in really handy for presentations. Picked up my favourite highlighters. These did me the whole year last year. They were featured in my last year's um, stationery haul video. And these are the Stabilo highlighters. They just come in the basic pink, green, blue and yellow colours. Uh, but I just really like these. They're really simple and very thin so you can fit them in any pencil case, which is very exciting. Yeah, I just love those. Those were £1.50 instead of £3, I think. I think they were half price. I really wanted to get some Stabilo fine liners and I think I will go back and get some of those, but the only ones I had left were like the £7 packet and I just wanted a few. So I picked up the Papermate Inkjoy pens and I genuinely really like these pens. I've got a lot of the black ones um, stuck around at uni, but these ones have got light blue, dark blue, green, yellow, orange, red, pink and purple so that's a nice selection of pens and that was £1.50 so that's a good deal. The last thing I picked up from Wilkinson's were just some paracetamol tablets. Stocking up on things like this before you go to university really saves a lot of ag when you have to prize yourself out of bed when you're feeling unwell and drag yourself to a shop and pay god knows how much for stupid things that you can get for 20p at places like Wilkinson's. It's just I've been using these for god knows how long so you know, I'm not dead yet. From Puckerpad, I got a day planner. These are a things to do today list and I absolutely love these. Look at that. I have actually got a day planner from Urban Outfitters, which I have at university. I've mentioned this before. It was featured in my room tour. It's really nice. It's like a marble, marble one. Um, but I thought this would be quite nice for things like when I'm directing shows or if I'm just generally doing more admin -y bits and bobs because, um, 
carrying around that really big notebook of mine is kind of a bit of a chore. It, it is really nice, but it's very thick. So something like this is a lot thinner and easier to carry around. And I think I'm going to use this as more of a day planner for uni work instead of how I'm going to get my life together with social and extracurricular activities. So this will just slip into one of my folders. And finally, I just picked up a ring binder from Morrison's and this was just 50p, but I've talked about this before. The first thing my mum made me get, because I'm not a pyjama person at all, I mean I want to be a pyjama person but I'm more of a t-shirt pants kind of girl, um, but she made me get some of these because the house next year we have to, well our bills are included but that's to an extent and I don't think we're going to have our room as warm as we did last year when we were in halls because we didn't have to worry about bills. So I got some of these, these are, oh you can't even see them, hello, these are the boyfriend flannel pyjamas. I love Primark pyjama sets though. These were £8 and you get a really comfy top and bottom pair. This is a grey paisley type print. I just thought they were really nice. I just thought they were quite... I don't know. I really wanted the mermaid ones but mum was like, Abby, come on. I just thought they were nice and they're boyfriend style so they're really, really big. Got some pants but I don't think I'm going to show you. Next I just got some socks. These are a five pair pack of cotton rich black socks and these were reduced from £2 to £1.70 which is very precise. Just needed these because I bought them last year and they lasted me all year. They only started fading at the toes towards the end of last year so that did really well and also they're really good for drama lessons. I just got a pack of hair ties. This is a 50 pack and it's just got all the brownie type colours on them. I've already got a lot of black hair ties so I just thought I'd get these ones. I probably won't be using the white ones, I'll be giving those away. But what I liked is that you get thick ones and thin ones as well and there's a lot in there for a pound so. Finally from Primark I just got some volume control headphones because I absolutely ages ago got a pair of headphones and slowly but surely they died uh, and I literally only have one earphone that works and the other one is the only one that has anything left on it so I can't even use them. So these were only £3. You could get ones for £1 and you can get some for £1.50 so I thought by getting the £3 ones hopefully I was slightly safer in their durability but if not I have a Primark near me in Birmingham so it doesn't really matter anyway. That was everything from Primark. For absolutely ages I've been wanting to get a new phone case but it was really up in the air whether or not I'd be getting a new phone because my phone smashed and it's just been dodgy for absolutely ages. The screen kept coming out and I kept having to send it out for repairs and then I found out the battery had swollen. So there was loads of issues with my phone so I didn't want to buy a new phone case. I don't, I, I don't know. Is anyone else like that where you just don't want to make a nice purchase if you can't use it? Because I've done that so many times where I've got really nice phone cases and then upgraded my phone. I haven't upgraded my phone, I just got it really fixed and rejuvenated and it's fine. So I went out and bought a phone case and I managed to get one in Tesco and this is a really pretty phone case. It's just got little birds on it and it's just a really, really nice case. The problem that I found though is finding a phone case for an iPhone 5 is really difficult. I went into H&M, I went into a phone shop, I went into New Look, I went in literally so many places when I went shopping and I honestly could not find anything and I ended up finding it in the last place I went which was Tesco. This was £8 and it's just really nice. The detailing is gold and it's just like a light green gold which is kind of what I like anyway so I picked that up. Ooh, it feels nice. Oh wow that... It's got like... It's like raised, the pattern's raised. Oh, that's lovely. I've recently been working quite a lot, so I haven't really been spending any money. I've just been working, which is great because at the end of it, you have like loads of money, which is fantastic and you haven't spent any. But I haven't bought anything clothes wise for quite a long time. I was leaving New Look and I came across this jacket and my mum was like, if you don't get it, you're gonna regret it. So I got it. I mean, looking at it makes me want to cry. This is just me all over. I, oh. What I really liked about it and what I find with New Look sometimes is the material's not that nice. The material on this is, wow. It's so nice. It's nicely lined as well. So it's kind of really good for the transition from autumn to winter. And mum was like, when you go out, you can take it with you. And she was right. I've got a bomber jacket like this. Um, as it is but I haven't got anything like this so I've got the style but I haven't got 
anything like this and I absolutely adore it. It's just, it's amazing. It's called the Crushed Velvet Bomber. It's from New Look and this was £34.99 um, but I use my uni days app so I paid about £30 for it because I only got like 10 or so percent off but it was so worth it and uh, I'm just calling this a uni purchase. It's not, it's just a keeping myself happy purchase. <laughs> Lastly, I went into Boots and I picked up a hell of a lot of shower gels. I got the Zingy Cool Coconut Shower Gel and I got the Berries and Cream and these are the Boots own brand. These were about 80 pence, I think. These were really, really cheap. I also picked up Original Source Shower Gels. These were also, I think these were a pound, um, vanilla and raspberry and we've got coconut and shea butter. I really like these. These are also vegan, which I really, really like about these products because they smell great and and they do good too. And then lastly, I picked up a Nivea Caring Shower Cream Indulgent Moisture Cashmere, and this was also ridiculously cheap, but I'll pop all of the prices of those products down below because I can't remember them off the top of my head. I went into my makeup bag this morning and I'd recently bought a mascara. Well, when I say recently, it wasn't like that long ago. I think it was about six weeks ago. And I opened up the mascara and it's completely clumped. Something's happened to it, but I just thought, no, okay, right, I need to get a new one. So I got the L'Oreal Paris Mega Volume Miss Hippie because they had like Miss Manga, Miss Hippie and Miss, I think it might have been Rock Chick or something like that. But I got the Miss Hippie because I liked the look of the finish more. I went over to L'Oreal because I really liked their Volume Million Lashes and the packaging for this is very, very similar. So it seems to be like a spin-off range. These were only 7 99 so I thought I'd pick up these instead of the 9 99 ones. I don't know, £2. I just thought I'd, I thought I'd try it. So I'm going to give that a go and this is just in black. For absolutely ages I've been wanting to buy a new makeup palette and I bought a really small um, cheap collection palette just to get me through the summer and it does well but I find the eyeshadows to be quite chalky. It was only £3 so I, I didn't really expect much from it but I really wanted to get a sleek palette because I've heard they're really good for the basically how much you pay for them which is something ridiculous like eight pounds but you'd have to order them online from Boots um, because I didn't have them in my local store but today I walked in and they had some. What a new day because these colours seem like most of the colours that I would wear. Also the names of the of the eyeshadows are really cute. We've got things like Don't Worry and then another one called Be Happy. One's called Silver Lining, Let It Go, Daydreamer. It's just a really nice palette. Oh, their packaging is insane. It's so just simple and oh, and they've got all the colours with their little names on them. Yeah, no, I'm really happy with this purchase. I'm actually really impressed with that palette. I probably will buy another one. I'm really impressed. And that is all I have in my Back to University haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, be sure to leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe, check out my blog and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!